Hello and welcome to another unnecessary unboxing here from Ricky D's Productions. My name is Ricky and today we're going to be unnecessarily unboxing the Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World. Now this is a box I've never opened on the channel before or in real life so I'm super excited to uh, finally open it up. Um, I know, I guess Seal of War Calco comes in here, um, which I personally wouldn't use but I, I do find an, uh, an interesting card. Um, uh, as well as I know that Raigeki can be pulled from this uh, set as well. So that's going to be definitely one I'm going to want to pick up. Now, it does come with a couple packs. So five Legendary Collection Mega Packs. So I believe that's kind of like the Mega Tins. Yeah, so nine cards per pack. You get a Secret, an Ultra, a Super, and a Rare. And then five extra Commons per pack. You also get three Token cards in here, um, which I already own two of those. Um, just the Karibos and one of the, I don't know, some type of monster there. Uh, the Emissary of Darkness itself, and uh, three ultra-rare monster cards, including Dark Necrofear, which is kind of cool. Um, I own him common, I believe, from the Millennium Pack, but uh, kind of cool to pick up once again. So yeah, this is just the promo pack right here. Make sure I get this in the shop for you guys, because I know I've been missing a shot a couple times during my unboxings. Unfortunately, I'm still trying to find the best way to record these. So yeah. To start off, we get the Seal of Orichalcos. Dark Necrofear Ultra Rare, Guardian Etos Ultra Rare, Five Headed Dragon Ultra Rare as well, and then the three different tokens. Cool. I like the promos in here. Five Headed Dragon, I really like. Um, I really want to use him in my um, Dragon deck, my Felgrind Dragon deck, uh, which plays off of, uh, you know, your uh, graveyard quite a bit and. I want to use that with Future Fusion and just get a bunch of monsters on the board. Um, and then you also get a playmat with this, which I actually might take to Locals with me tomorrow. I think it'd be kind of cool to have this with me. And then that is right there. Right there. Yugi, Yugi on this side. Sorry. And then Yugi on this side right here. Perfect. So you guys probably have seen that one before, but uh, kind of cool. This is a cardboard one. I might take it with me tomorrow. Wow, that was loud, and I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with the first pack. See what we pull from here. So to start off, we got Stray Lamps. Ooh, ugh pull that all apart. Green Baboon, Defender of the Force, Gamma the Magnet Warrior. For our rare, we get the Malice Doll of Demise. For ultra rare, we get a Spirit Reaper. And then for secret, we get Levea Dragon Didalius. Um, this has uh, got like a Judgment Dragon effect when you send Umi uh, to the graveyard. Really freaking badass in, um, in Duel Links. And then Raigeki Break. Uh, super rare. Let's go ahead and sort that there. Commons. Goblin fan. Uh, and a horse the black flame dragon level 4 common. So that's actually a really cool one to pull secret rare. Uh, for me. Just because I kind of like that monster. So yeah, biggest thing I want to pull. Hopefully if I can pull it is um, obviously the, the Raigeki. Which is probably the best card in this pack. For me. <laughs> Collected Power. Spell Shattering Arrow. Toon World. Rare. Green Gadget Ultra Rare. And Dark Magician Secret Rare. Oh, that is so cool. That is actually a really cool Secret Rare. I already own Dark Magician like a million times, obviously. Um, but that's kind of cool to have him in another Secret Rare. <laughs> Um, and an ultra or a super rare fissure as well. Right there. Dark magic attack. Manju with the 10,000 hands and Maiku the mystical mist. Uh, that Manju's kind of good. Um, he's, he's pretty good. I like him. Uh, for any ritual deck. Okay, next pack. So we get a dark greffer. A guardian seal. A Toon Summon Skull for our rare. Needle Worm. Uh, send the top five cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. On flip effect. For our ultra rare. 
And a Feather of the Phoenix. Discard one card and target one card in your graveyard. Turn that target to the top of your deck. Uh, for our Secret Rare. That could work in my Fluffles, actually. Ironically. Interesting. And Magical Cylinder, as well. Level Limit Area B. Arm Samurai, Benkai, and Dark Nephethys. Uh, so, super rare. Magical Cylinder, kind of cool. I believe I already own it, super rare. But, can I never have enough Magical Cylinders. Probably one of the best cards in the game. In the game. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, uh, next we got Broad of Silence, Caius. Um, negate other spell effects that target the equipped monster. Oh. Uh, Dark Master Zork. Solemn Warning. Uh... Wow, Solemn Morning comes common in this set. That's really cool. Uh, Tune Mask Sorcerer for our rare. Morphing Jar for our ultra rare. And uh, Kyuso the Ghost Destroyer for our secret rare. Cool, cool, cool. Kyuso the Dark, the Ghost Destroyer. And then Creature Swap for our super rare. The Dark Hex Sealed Fusion and Wicked Breaking Flame Burge Bow. Cool. I like that we pulled a Solemn Warning. I need another one just so I can throw in decks. I kind of wish it was Secret or Ultra, but it's fine that it's uh, in that one. One last final pack here, guys. Hopefully we can pull that right Geki. I believe it's in the set, at least. That's what I've heard, but might not be. Gamma the Black Manic Warrior. The, the Magnet Warrior, sorry. Uh, Black Luster Ritual. Gravekeeper's Watcher. Uh, for our rare, we get a Tune Defense. Uh, yeah. That's why. Uh, and Ultra Rare, Swords of Revealing Light. And a, <laughs> a Secret Rare Pot of Greed. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, no way. I'm totally buying another of these boxes, by the way, so keep an eye out. Segaretsu Armor for our super rare. Goblin Fan and Horus the Black Flame Dragon. Level 4. <laughs> Pot of Greed, that's an interesting, that's an interesting one. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and do the overview really quick. So obviously, Pot of Greed, we pulled a secret rare. Uh, Kyusu, the Ghost Destroyer, a Feather of the Phoenix, a Dark Magician, Secret Rare, and Leviathan Dragon, Didalius, uh, Secret Rare as well. He's at level 8, or a 7. He's level 7. Eh, that kind of sucks. Um, he should be just one tribute, but that's fine. Uh, Swords of Revealing Light, Ultra Rare, uh, Morphing Jar, looks really cool. I uh, wish I could still use that. Needle Worm, <laughs> Worm, Green Gadget, and a Spirit Reaper cannot be destroyed by battle after resolving a card to affect that targets this card. Face of card, destroy this card. And when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, discard one random card from their hand. Wow. I guess I could, I could see how that would have been like a really good card back in the day. Uh, for our super rares, we get Sakuretsu Armor, Creature Swap, Magical Cylinder, Fissure, and Raigeki Break. So, I don't know why you'd want to use... Oh, I guess... Never mind. That's my bad. Uh, and then for our rares, we got some Tune stuff. A lot of Tune stuff for our rares. Tune Defense, Tune Mask Sorcerer, Tune Seven Skull, Tune World, and Malice Doll of Demise. The Tune World's kind of a cool one to pull. Um, you know, you just get to pay a thousand life points, and then you just have Tune World now. Because that's a good thing i don't know anyways guys if you have any questions about anything make sure to uh um ask them in the comment section if any of you guys can explain this card to me as well i don't really understand it pot agreed it's kind of yeah I'll, I'll put the test text up there too so it's, if you guys can understand what that says and what it means because i i just don't get it just this is just three words I just don't understand. Um, in terms of commons, the only one I really think I liked the most. I mean, level limit area B is kind of cool, and the Dark Master's Orc is kind of cool too. Um, and Dark Greffer and Guardian Seal. Uh, uh, Stray Lambs is kind of cool. Might be kind of relevant in Link Summoning for the beginning. 
um, but why would you not just use um, how would you say scapegoat <laughs> uh, and then the solemn warnings obviously this is the best one uh, that I pulled out of that all right guys make sure to subscribe comment uh, share the video if you think anyone else will like it, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm opening another one of these boxes, so keep an eye out. Bye.